Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be something that I have not done in so long and that is going to be a monthly favorite. So I try new products here and there. I definitely don't try them like I used to years ago, but I do try new products here and there. And so this month I tried a few new ones and I wanted to come and show you guys the things that I have absolutely been loving and things that have just been making my life a little bit easier and better. So if you guys want to see some of my July favorites that I've been loving, just continue to watch. Let's go ahead and get started with the first product I have here is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And I know a lot of people have been ra ranting and raving about this. And I tried the blue one when they first came out and I don't know what it was, but when these first came out and they had the blue one, the blue one was horrible. It did absolutely nothing for my skin. It didn't take off any makeup. It didn't take off any oil or dirt. It was just like rubbing the makeup around on my face. It just looked a hot mess and I ended up just having to like use, I think back then I used, um, what did I use? I think I used Lush's Ultra Bland makeup remover, that really oily honey makeup remover. I think I used that. And so that's what I ended up using because this did nothing. So I don't know if they reformulated it. It doesn't say anything about being reformulated, but this is the pink one. And I don't really know the difference between the blue one and the pink one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the difference between the blue one and the pink one, but the blue one didn't work for me and the pink one has been absolutely amazing. So I love to use this to take off my makeup and I also love to use this to, at the end of the day, just kind of like wipe my face off before I go in with my cleansers and my serums and my um, face mask and all of that good stuff. It's been amazing. So if you tried it and you didn't like it, see if you can try the pink one and see if it works for you. Okay, so next I have the Pixie Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist. This is a hyaluronic acid and oat soothing mist. This stuff is so amazing. As you can tell, I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if I can get close. Like I have used so much of this stuff. Like I'm pretty much halfway done with this bottle and I'm definitely going to get another one. I love this mist. I wake up in the morning and I don't feel like putting on my lotion or my moisturizer, my serum, all that stuff. I just wash and cleanse my face and then I use this and then I'm actually really good to go. It gives your face a really healthy glow. If you have like any little pimples, it'll like smooth those out. I like to put this on my face, do my makeup and I set my face and it's still not like how I want it you know how sometimes you can set your makeup and then it just looks flawless and just juicy and glowy sometimes that just doesn't always work and so I have noticed that this stuff comes in the rescue when my makeup just does not want to act right I don't know what it is but this stuff is amazing over makeup so if you are struggling with your makeup just like getting that nice good glow try the pixie glow mist or just the pixie mist in general I love this one I also love the I love this one too I like this one more than this one um, this is the rose glow mist this one's pretty good and then I also like the the gold one I can't remember what the gold one is I think it's just probably the regular pixie glow mist that one is my all-time favorite and this is a super close second so I've been loving this and I love how it's literally like milky like it's just I love it I just really really love it and it's a bigger bottle I think this was like 20 22 dollars I think this was like 15 dollars so this one's like 2.5 seven and this one's 5.4 so you definitely get a lot more product in this one okay let's move on to like some body lotions and creams so i have the righteous body butter lotion by soap and glory and i used to use the righteous body butter a long time ago that was one of my go-to's i used to use that one and another one it used to smell like sprite like lemon and lime i can't remember but that one was so so good and also this one this one was really like creamy and it kind of smells like not cake but I don't know I don't know it just smells good and luxurious and it just makes me so happy like just that whiff made me want to like quit my job it made me want to just like go be a CEO an entrepreneur like it just makes you want to be so successful I don't know it just feels and it smells so luxurious and it just smells rich like it just smells like a yacht or it smells like a million bucks I don't, I've never smelled a million dollars before in my life of course but I feel like if I ever smelled a million dollars it's gonna smell exactly like this this stuff smells so freaking good if you don't like body butters and you don't like that thick like kind of creamy a lot of people don't like body butters because it leaves them feeling just like slick and slimy try the lotions the body lotions 
modeled after the body butters by Soap and Glory. I think you'll absolutely love them. And if you wear it, like you don't even need to wear perfume. It just smells so good. It's got shea butter, almond oil, aloe vera, glycerin, rose hip seed, vitamin E, just oh, so good, all the good stuff. So make sure you guys definitely try this. And it also lasts all day long. Like you will be smelling delicious and looking good and just smooth and buttery and amazing for 24 hours, I promise you. Okay, so the next thing that I have is actually a sample and I got it with the next product that I'm going to show you from Sephora. I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and this is so hyped up. Like everybody is like, oh, I love this. This is the best. Like it tightens my skin. It smells so good and all that stuff. And so when I got the opportunity to get this as a point perk, I was like, let me try this though because everybody's talking about how good it is. So I wanted to try it and this is the regular one. I know they have the um, coconut one and that one, I don't like the smell of it. So I actually use it on my feet. <laughs> so I actually have it at my desk <laughs> when I get to work and sometimes I forget to like put lotion on my feet in the morning. I know it's a mess, but I live like on a hill. And so walking down the hill is like slippery depending on the type of shoes I have. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't put lotion, freaking lotion on my feet. So I get to work and I lotion my feet. <laughs> so TMI, but this is just a regular smell one. And I think it's got like mangoes in it or like something. I don't know I don't see the I don't know maybe the how is the first ingredient in here water that is a hot mess I don't know I don't know what the main scent in this is it's kind of giving me a little bit of mango a little bit of just a little bit of coconut not a lot though I don't know but it smells amazing and this stuff pair it with this Whew, I can't wait. I'm gonna have to get the big one and I'm regretting having to get the big one because I think it's like 40 or $60. But this stuff just smells so good and I don't even wanna like try it right now. Like show you guys like this stuff, this is how much I've used. Like I'm using it sparingly because I don't wanna buy the big one. But this stuff, if you are one of those people who like to put on lotion but you don't like to feel that lotion-y feel, that slickness that you can feel sometimes with certain lotions, then this is the best thing for you. And I'm like that. Sometimes I want to feel luxurious and soft and supple. And sometimes I just want to put on lotion and not look ashy. But I don't want to feel slick and slippery. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So next I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And you guys know that everybody has been ranting and raving about this primer it like literally everybody it's like their new holy grail i promise you and i was like i don't feel like buying because you guys know like i haven't been to like sephora or anything in like forever so i had family come down and we went into sephora because these little sisters who are also my friends they love makeup as well so they were like oh let's go into sephora so we went into sephora and i was like i want to try that milk primer and so i just kind of caved and i got it and y'all it is worth the hype, I promise you. Like, I'm one of those people that'll come on and I'll say like, people hype this up, this is trash. This is amazing. Like the consistency, the texture, the jelliness, the way that it literally locks your makeup into place. I used it with this L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation, which is one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore. I have it on today. Y'all, th these two together, I actually have a tutorial coming for mask proof makeup and y'all, I'm telling you, these two are my holy grails. There is just an amazing combination. This primer with any foundation makes it stick. Foundation right here, the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This one with this also is literally glue. So this primer is definitely worth the hype. It's definitely worth the hefty price tag of $30. So if you are thinking about trying it, you can get a sample. I think the sample is like $15, I think. But I just went on ahead and got the big one because I was like, I love trying new primers and I just love having lots of different primers in my collection. And I was like, well, it's a really pretty bottle. So even if I don't like it, I'll just like having the bottle and using the jelly. I love jelly primers. So this is definitely worth the hype. And if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, I think this is perfect for combination skin. If you want your makeup to last all day long, give this a go. Okay, so two products left. I have the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 1 Palette. 
and it looks like this and i actually have a makeup tutorial coming with this look and i have been loving this palette so much i've been wanting to try juvia's plates for a long time and you guys know it's the one with the pretty artwork and all of that stuff so i looked at this and i was like oh this is a pretty eyeshadow palette and then i read it and i was like oh it's blush and i'm like it's whatever I want it to be if I pay for it. But I, was, I haven't used this as blush. I probably could use these two to like bronze or contour and like these two as highlighters. And these actually look like pretty blushes, but they're too bright and too much for me personally. Maybe if you have darker skin tone, these might look delicious on you, but too much for me personally. They make amazing eyeshadows though. So if you see this palette and you're like, I am not gonna get any use out of those, don't fret because I use them all as eyeshadows and they are amazing. So this has definitely been one of my go-to grab and go palettes and I have been loving it on just like those days when I want like some, a simple look, but I still want the eyeshadows to pop. Like just these three right here and like one of these in the inner corner is just like literally a look on the go and you can't go wrong with this. So I've been loving this one and I'm really excited to try some new things from Juvia's Place. I've heard they have really good concealers as well. So if you guys have tried their concealers, let me know down in the comments if you like them and their foundation. So let me know if you like those. Okay, so the last thing I have is a lip balm and this is the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. And this is in, this is the one with vitamin E and peppermint. Like I like to walk around with lip gloss on, but shortly after I put it on, I'm going to wipe it off because I'm always snacking. Like I'm always snacking, I'm always drinking something. And so like literally I don't like my lips to be like goopy and like glossy when I'm eating because like stuff gets stuck in them and it's just a mess. And so I will put on a ton of lip gloss and then like 15 minutes later you'll see me and I'll just have like dry crusty lips and you're like what happened to your lips and I'm like I took my stuff off because I ate some popcorn or I ate some chips I made a sandwich so but I still love to keep my lips moisturized like I love it love it love it so I really love to do just like lip balms I, I've always wanted to try a Burt's Bees I picked up this one it was a pretty simple one and y'all this smells absolutely amazing it literally has your lips feeling so soft so moisturized but it doesn't make your lips do that gloopy cop gloppy thing like some lip glosses or some lip balms do it just makes your lips feel hydrated and moisturized and just plump and juicy and delicious so i absolutely love this stuff and it has not left my side for literally i think i got this a little later in july but it hasn't left my side since i bought it and this is amazing and i can't wait to get some more um it's probably gonna take me literally a lifetime to run through this which is fine but i'm definitely going to get some more um so this one's really great if you've been contemplating trying out any Burt's Bees lip balms, definitely give them a go. And the vitamin E and peppermint one is a winner. I haven't tried any more other ones, but this one is the first one I tried and it is definitely fun. So all of my beauty favorites for the month of July. I really hope that you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know some of your favorites down below in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for joining for another video. Please do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and hit the bell notification button and leave me a comment down below. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram snapchat twitter and tiktok all of the links will be down below so make sure you guys are following me over there i will see you guys in my next one bye